More than a thousand miles separates us from the victims of Harvey, but there are plenty of ways you can help from home. And that is where the American Red Cross comes in. Mm -hmm. We're joined now by Judge Renee Caldwell Hughes. She's the CEO of the American Red Cross for the Eastern Pennsylvania region. Mm -hmm. And Renee, we see all of these images and we know people are in need. What do they need right now? Right now, the greatest priority is shelter and feeding. That's the first thing we have to do. We have to get people to safety and we have to feed them and give them a safe place to sleep. Once we get everyone to safety, then we'll start to look at recovery and how we rebuild. Mm -hmm. But the first priority, because the rains are still coming, mm -hmm. we've got to get everyone to safety. Money plays a huge part in this. Let's talk about uh, donating to a reputable charity, because you and I both know, we all know, during tragedies like this, there are some folks out there with a different agenda. So. Talk about a reputable charity. So the American Red Cross is a reputable charity. Mm -hmm. When you give to the Red Cross, literally nine cent, nine cent of every 10 cent, or say it differently, mm -hmm. 90 cent of mm -hmm. every dollar, goes into the mission. Right now we have over 200 emergency response vehicles in the area around Houston, Baton Rouge. You know, we're having to stage different places. By the middle of this week, we'll have 4,000 workers on the ground. So if you want to make a difference, donate. You can text the word Harvey to 90999. It's a $10 donation. It goes straight to Harvey Relief. Or you can go to our website, redcross.org. The reason that this is important is that people always say, well, can I give you stuff? Mm -hmm. Can I give mm -hmm. you right. clothing? Mm -hmm. Can right. I give you old furniture? Right now, the immediate need is shelter and feeding. And when you give us things, it takes time to clean it, sort it, warehouse it, transport it. Those things will be necessary later, but right now, those donations make a so huge stick difference. Stick with the Red Cross, and, and that's it. Because you're <laughs> going to see these other folks come out there as well. There, there, yes. Obviously, my first preference is the Red Cross. What I suggest to people is that you give to an organization that you know is reliable. Mm -hmm. sure. mm -hmm. If this is somebody who's just popped up, right. don't do it. And quickly before we go, you were mentioning the call center here, far yeah. away from Texas, but that's the role that people are playing in our area on behalf of the Red Cross. In our area, we are not only sending volunteers to Texas, but we also have a body of volunteers, about 25 people, who've been answering calls since Thursday. We've taken as many as 10,000 calls since wow. Thursday of people in need, and so we are assisting every single day. The, the support of the community is huge. If I could ask them if they would do three things, if they would donate, and they can donate on the website, redcross.org, or they can text Harvey to 90999, give blood. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. Houston hospitals have been closed. We're trying to get blood to Dallas so that life-saving surgeries can occur. If you give blood here, we can get it to Texas. And the third thing is to volunteer because we only send trained volunteers, but if you sign up to volunteer now, we can train you. Storm season on the East Coast starts now. Right That's right, now. you gotta be prepared. Mm -hmm. right well, now. thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Judge, thank you for thank you having so much. us and oh, getting indeed. the word out. Oh, good friend. Out. We appreciate you coming by. Always, thank you. always. Thank you, Judge. Stay with Eyewitness News for continuing coverage of the aftermath of Harvey. You can get the latest anytime at cbsphilly.com.